From bold prints and metallics to colored wigs and a doobie, the stars rocked the red carpet at last night's American Music Awards. So here to discuss the fashion winners and losers is celebrity stylist and designer Philip Block. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! hey. hey, hey. <laughs> nice to see you again. Good to see you. How you Good doing, it. Philip I'm Block? I'm excellent. I'm excellent. I, my eyes were full last night. All right. Well, it Taylor Swift, she won big last night. I know. Four awards, including one for Best, best Artist. And one of my best dressed. Okay, so really? she wore a gold Julian McDonald mini. I What'd you loved think? it. I loved it. It was grown up. The only thing is, I think she had that sheer inset there, mm -hmm. and it looks like they put her people must have put some nude behind it, and mm -hmm. it was a little, a little not right. Okay. It was off. The color was off. Yeah, the color was a little <laughs> off, a little too pale. Like you could see it as opposed to getting the illusion. There's supposed to be an illusion of breasts mm -hmm. there, and they just blocked that. Yeah, they little, shut that right down. A little too down. opaque. It should have been a little more sheer. Right? Gotcha. Didn't you? Th I, yeah. I could see you catching that mm -hmm. one. Well, some people have said that this was a revenge dress because a lot of her necklaces <laughs> right. were yes, in the room. Yes, so yes. she was like, look mm -hmm. at all that you're missing now. Well, any room she's in is oh. <laughs> filled with her exes. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well, they kept saying she had the legs of the night. She did. She And she just looked gorgeous. She, well, I'm still on the J Lo. Oh, okay. We'll get to that. We'll get, we'll get to that. There. <laughs> but before we do, let's go to Sierra because she had a Jay Mandel outfit on. Is she wow. good, right? Now, was your number? I thought it was Roland Murray. Was that Jay Mandel? Oh, okay. It was Jay Mandel. Was it? Okay. I, Roland, I might but... be wrong. But how does that girl find the same dress from a different designer every oh, time? You know what, Philip? Really? <laughs> It was amazing. She's one of my best dressed, and she wears it better than anybody else. But hasn't she done that dress a couple yeah, times before? Yeah, I kind of want her to take more risks. You know, some people find a silhouette that works for them, and they mm -hmm. stick with it. And with the sheer pieces yeah. and, like, showing lots of skin. I mean, it is off the hook. You liked it, didn't you? I did. I, I, I thought I she was one of my best dresses. Yeah, she was one of mine, too. Really, she okay. was. But, but I do feel like she's worn a very similar dress several other times. Okay, okay. so thumbs up, but you're, yes. you, it's time for her to branch out. Branch a out. Okay. She's going to the Sofia Vergara school of, or in the J-Lo school of I wear the same dress because mm -hmm. it looked good on me. Because it looks good on me. It works. Okay, what about <laughs> Katy Perry and her Oscar de la Renta? I love it. Cute, whimsical, quirky. It fit her body beautifully. Mm -hmm. And it was Katy, you know? So I knew so you were going to like right this. And you did. I didn't. I was like yeah. uh, the polka dots and all that. Yeah, it's not a I want to do or dress. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Can we say that on TV? Yeah, oh, we, we can say that <laughs> on okay. TV. Okay. <laughs> oh. Apparently her geisha look that she wore on stage was causing some controversy. What did you think of that look? Well, everybody's looks on stage from what they wore on the carpet. If they were subtle on the carpet, they were controversial mm -hmm. on stage from Gaga to... I, I thought this was adorable, too. I thought it was really cute. Okay. And Katie's quirky and fun and she gives skin, but it doesn't look overly tacky, but I guess kind of getting lowered down there. Okay. I thought it's fun and quirky, but Gaga, her body was amazing in her outfit. I know. I we'll mean, get to Gaga in a minute mm, because she uh, came in on a white mm, horse. Yeah, well, I know. <laughs> Riding right, right, right. But before that, <laughs> Heidi Klum, we got to get to her. What did you think of Heidi? Marquesa, wasn't that amazing? Mm. That was really, really beautiful. She can rock a dress better than anybody I know. See, I didn't like this dress. You didn't like it? No. See, I liked the I legs. Loved, and... I liked her hair. I thought the mm. hair was great. The makeup was perfect and subtle, but... This dress was like, shredded on the bottom and then all this frilliness on Just top. Just a bit of a car wash so dress. Going. It was a, yeah. Yeah, very much a car wash dress, exactly. It was kind of like Kerry Washington at the at the Emmys. Remember she had all that yes. stuff going on and it's from Marquesa as well, which was similar, a, lot, a little too much embellished. Too much. But I just think that it body and you. Heidi, on Heidi it works. You know, okay. I wouldn't want to see it on Kerry Washington or somebody else, but on her. Because Heidi can pull off anything in your eyes, right? Yeah. Heidi has the best boobs in the business. Oh, all right. They just have the jiggle factor, so I want to see that on her, and I like that. Here. Oh, all okay. right. Well, there we go. <laughs> jiggle factor. Jiggle factor. Okay, Rihanna wore Gautier. What'd you think of that? Well, she you was know, showing a little skin. Yeah, that yes, was an was. interesting little outfit uh -huh. there. I, I didn't like the cut of the of the breasts. Uh -huh. Like it was a little odd. And can we talk about the hair? Okay, so Please. for people who don't know, she was rocking a doobie. Now, a doobie <laughs> is something that women of color wear mm. when they before wrap bed. up their hair right before bed. So when they unshake it, it's all nice and bouncy and beautiful. So you you don't leave the house mm -hmm. in this look. Because you got, no. you know, bobby pins in your hair. And it's Unless you run into the home. bodega on the corner. Exactly. Or the and maybe. even then, you put <laughs> no. on the scarf. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. exactly. So did she just not have time to finish her hair? And she was like, oh, well, or was, did she purposely do this? I think this was done. <laughs> Not on purpose, yeah. and this was that look like let's break the rules. Mm -hmm. You know, we've seen like Beyonce with the 
curlers in her hair. Or, you know, like this is breaking the rules. And breaking Rihanna the... loves to break the rules. And she That's had tough. rhinestone bobby pins. That's how we point. know it was done on purpose. That's how we know it was done on purpose. <laughs> Before she did, but then I, and when she performed, she put the little rhinestones in. So yes. she had to... Which made it a little more sparkling. So glitter. do you think this look is going to catch on? Because again, girls, I hope not. You know, girls in the hood have been rocking doobies forever. Yeah. They're so like, oh, it's... thank God, this is a style. My yeah. hair can last for weeks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> last for weeks. I don't well, even need to take it out now. I know, right? Well, do these go mainstream? Will you be wearing one in I will not soon? be wearing a new no, I think not. you just answered your own okay, question. Okay, there we go. I'll Would wear you one be tonight? dating a girl that was My wife will not be wearing that out in public, no. no. There you go. Not I think we've answered that question, so ladies at home, no yes. doobie. No, 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 no. Okay. Right. Well, Christina Aguilera, she channeled her inner Marilyn Monroe. Wow, huh? What did you think of that outfit? She Bob, cleans Bob up Bob good Bob. sometimes. And you know, I've even seen side-by-sides with her and how much weight she lost. She looks amazing compared to last year. Well, you have to realize this girl is very tiny. She's very small, so mm -hmm. if she gains 10 pounds, it looks like 30 on somebody else. Mm -hmm. So all this, it's like Jessica Simpson. When we talk about the weight loss, it really isn't as huge as we all think. It just, it just looks like... The only problem I had, the face... The, the makeup, the hair, fabulous, right. flawless. Okay. What was going on with the boobage? Oh, can, let's can see we that just, again. Can we see the boobage a minute? <laughs> I mean, they are going all, they're all out to the side. There's no real cleavage. Like, oh. what's happening there? And then she did this very minimal performance number with the hair up and braided. Yeah, and she had that, She got a little like, Heidi. Heidi <laughs> braid. She looked like she was tired. Like, she didn't feel like doing much performance. She was just like, I'm going to stand here and sing. But here, she rocked it. I thought the white with the little cutouts, very in. And what about the shoes? Because she has a little hint of color on those shoes, Yeah, right? a little hint of color. The dress was a little short. but I would have gone for a little longer, but she wanted to show them shoes, I'm sure. She sure did. But okay. I, it just, the boobies was odd. It was. Odd. It felt like a lot of odd boobage. At the yeah. Awards. Well, it's music awards. Right. What could you expect? Well, okay. Miley Cyrus had no boobage. Oh. She was wearing a white Versace suit, but I liked it. it. Was subtle. Very. You know. Vintage Versace. What are we gonna complain about? Right. Well, she let's. Put on can we talk about her? Movies. Her. Pussy galore outfit then? Well, that was a lot of a lot of cat. cat. Yeah, a lot yeah. of cat. A lot of cat yeah. cat. Pussy cat. A lot of pussy cat. Yes, yeah. little pussy cat, little pussy cat <laughs> underwear. Meow, 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 meow. Fill up, fill up. But the white Versace <laughs> suit. Yes, I love like it. That. She said, I ain't gonna give them nothing to talk about till I perform. Mm. So do you think that it's better for her these looks when she's more clothed or her performance look when she's half naked? I like both. I like both. She yeah. does them both so okay. well and you gotta understand who she is. It's, she's kind of got a little David Bowie Ziggy Stardust thing going on, right? With the performance number. And the whole point is to do something that has us talking. Mm. I don't like and it when everyone talking. plays it too safe. It's Absolutely. boring. Yeah. But can we get her a little bit of a tan? She needs a little more yeah. Yeah. A little Get out pale. more. A little yeah. Okay. A little pale. All right. But someone with some color, Naya Rivera. <laughs> wow! Glee star, Santana. Wow. Check her out. Wow. Another one of my faves. And she was wearing Michael Kors. That. Really, you wow. like that? I don't know, well, what did, did you like about it? And uh, the train? Yeah, let's go yeah, with that. Yeah, it was a train. You, yeah. you like the train? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you okay. like that cut out there. <laughs> How amazing did she look? Sensational. Yes. Mm. I'll give and it this to is, her. This is how you become a star. Mm. Mm. This is what gets you noticed, because who was talking about her last week? That's a very yeah, good point. That's true. Yeah. And well, now you know, we're she talking has a new about single out, so she's yep. trying to promote that. And, and she really was on the cover of Rolling carpet. Stone, I exactly. believe. Mm -hmm. You know, so she. This is how you become a star. I might check out her single. Okay. All right. Because I checked out her doubles. Oh. <laughs> but I'm from. <laughs> That was great. Oh, wow. Good job, Philip. That was thank nice. You, thank I you. like that. Thank okay, you, you. so Ariana Grande, who everyone's calling Mini Mariah. Mini Mariah. She's she, a little mini me. Okay, so she showed up in Dolce and Gabbana sequin number. Did she sizzle or did she fizzle? She sizzled. How cute. And she even has the big Mariah hair. She sure does. I just wish her posture was a little odd. She oh. kept leaning forward the whole time. Like, she was so surprised, but it was so great. And I love the red. And, well, red is very in the season, mm -hmm. as you might tell us. And Dolce, you can't go wrong. You can't, yeah. You know, a little sequin Dolce yeah, number. Yeah, they hooked her up. I, I, I liked that it. it was very beautiful, and then it was, she didn't have to show all the skin and go half exactly. naked. She let her voice do the talking for Absolutely. her. Absolutely, and she's a young girl. One quibble, do you think it was aging? Because she is mm -hmm. such a young girl. Could she have right. gone with something shorter and funkier, or was this right? Well, if she'd been Mariah, she just would have cut the dress in half. <laughs> <laughs> For years, nobody in Hollywood would loan Mariah a dress because she would cut them all short. Wow. You'd send her a gown, she'd cut it into a mini dress. It went on for years. 
Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I love so, it when you bring the uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I mean, it was, for years it went on. I, I've done shoots with Mariah, and people are like, oh, no, we're not sending the clothes over there unless you swear we won't cut them. I'm okay, like, we got to get to my girls, okay. T-Boz and Chili. Oh, my what God. What happened, Philip? The 90s call. <laughs> the 90s call, girl. You got our dresses on still. Like, you got to change oh, it up. Yeah. I, I, I just, so. I, I mean, it just didn't feel modern. And T-Boz has is, is definitely put on a little weight, but we like them curvy. Mm -hmm. I, I have no I'm problem with that. I just felt the outfit seemed so old. Dated. Like, Chili, have a talk with Ciara. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Just saying. Have a conversation. Yeah, yeah. and maybe T-Boz get a little conversation with Rihanna and she can tell you how to, you know, Good point. make it yeah. sexier. Yeah, you know, just have a conversation. Just a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> what about Kesha and her one shoulder Michael Costello oh, number? Gosh, wow, we almost got there, didn't we? Mm, we almost, almost, we were so, so, so close. Now, if Sarah Jessica Parker had done this, we all would have been like, oh my God, it's amazing. Mm. Maybe it's just Kesha in general. Like, mm. doesn't this look like Sarah Jessica Parker towards the end of Sex and the City, like kind of when it was getting a little way out of control in the yeah, fashion that's range very, a little? I can see Patricia Field right? taking that out for mm. a Absolutely, and Carrie, Carrie, I could so see mm -hmm. Carrie Bradshaw doing this number running to the supermarket it's or true. something. You know? She's, uh, but Kesha also has the long blonde hair. Lady Gaga was another who was wa wa rocking the long blonde hair. Yeah, platinum. you call it rocking. Yeah. Does she get an applause for this? Outfit, yeah. though. What would you think of the Versace look? Not feeling it. I just did not oh, feel really? it. No, I just, I thought the color was drab. I, the whole Lady Godiva homage uh -huh. or the Bianca Jagger reference not to the White Horse. Not working for you. I thought she looked so hot in the Marilyn Monroe shtick with uh, Mr. Kelly, the president. No mm. goodness. Sizzling. Yeah. That was amazing. I can't oh talk about gosh. that performance. <laughs> <laughs> little mama. Yeah, uh, little mama. Little mama. Mm -mm 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 -mm. First thing, let's just share this with the viewers at home. Your hair color does not have to mess, match the trim on your That's dress. That's what you call coordinate. You got to coordinate. 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 <laughs> you don't have to match your boyfriend's outfit, and you don't have to match the trim on your okay. dress, especially if it's green. All okay. right. The only thing missing was green lipstick, and I'm sure she would have put She put some that on. on for the after party. I'm <laughs> sure she did. Thank God we didn't have to see that, because what, 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 you know. Oh, I no. can't explain this. But okay. can you think of anybody better than her to step in for left eye? No, perfect no. casting. Perfect, yes. perfect, perfect casting. And wasn't that nice to see? Uh, it really I see them come back 20 years mm -hmm. later and perform again and and touch my heart T-Buzz had a little trouble with the microphone there she was mm. not happy with that <laughs> she was not happy with the microphone but they look good and they were okay we have a minute left so let's yep. get through a few more Jordan, Jordan Sparks. Sparks Jordan Sparks what was she thinking I mean like is it lady wrestling night I mean what the hell is going on here I she was trying, that was a daring outfit. She was trying that something too much new. Drum, too much drumstick, Philip? Yeah, and she's trying to do the Angelina, like sticking my left leg yeah. in. Yeah, okay. They're all trying to do that now, and, and it just it just didn't, it wasn't flattering to okay, her. Okay, well, Jennifer Hudson also had her leg out last night. In Dior, wasn't uh, this Dior? Mm -hmm, I mean, Dior. I, What'd you think of that? I, did it get caught in the door? Yeah. Did the uh, See, Dior get caught in the door? I felt. It just feels imbalanced to me. It was beautiful when I saw her just from the waist up, and I thought, oh, that color's pretty on her. Oh, how nice, how chic. And how gorgeous is she looking? I was just at the yeah. premiere of Black Nativity the other night. Mm. She looked stunning at the Apollo. And then she came out and did this to us. Oh, well, maybe she'll get it next time around. Next as well time as around. some of the other but ones. But she looked good. The body looks. is looking the good. She very, looks so very beautiful. Yeah. So, so beautiful. Philip Block, right. you're the best. Thank That's you so right. much for being here. <laughs> if they only were the best, too, I would I make know. us all happy. And now we want to know, do you at home agree with some of our best and worst outfits? Tell us about it by tweeting us at Arise TV 360. Music is important to me. It's uh, the first thing I ever fell in love with. Uh, it is a universal language. It is the voice of the things that sometimes we're afraid to say inside. I think music is um, just a beautiful gift that's been given to us. And I'm just very fortunate that I can live and uh, love to do it every single day of my life. Hey, what's up? I'm Melanie Fiona, and you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. Ever since I became an athlete, I have been very passionate about being the best that I can be, and that starts from within. Feeding yourself the right foods, spirituality, all of that. So that's why I wake up in the morning, to be the best mom that I can be, and to be inspired to get better at just living this life, being a human being on this earth. Hi, I'm Layla Ali, and you're watching Arise TV. Comedy is important because laughter is good for the soul. Laughter keeps you young. Laughter makes everyone happy. So guess what? Keep on laughing, everybody. This is Kim Whitley, and you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. 
favorite part of my job is that I get to do something new every day. I invent and make up new things all the time and I, I never stop learning. To me, Arise means a new day, a new life, a new chance, a new opportunity, a new beginning. I'm Roble and you're watching Arise TV. Music is important to me because it's an outlet. Different way to create, different way to express yourself, uh, different way to stay out of trouble. For me, it was very important to just always be expressive, always keep my mind busy and, and functioning and just thinking of new creative ideas. Uh, and that's still prevalent to me to this day. Uh, you take music off the world, you can take me with it. I say that all the time. So music is my passion and my love. As long as you're passionate about something, then I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Hi, my name is Joe Button, and you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. What would Thanksgiving be without a cocktail? Or two. Or three. Or three. Or four or five. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. <laughs> we're here to help us make the perfect drinks for a turkey day is our favorite mixologist, Colin Apia. Hey, hey. Hey, how are you both? Um, we're great. We're, we're ready to great. drink. Excellent. Let's get started. But Colin, why do people drink so much during the holidays? Why do you think? Because it's time for them to relax, mm. chill out, take it easy, and they're spending time with family. And nine times out of ten, it's about a special moment. And no, food drink and drink helps you deal with your family. That's what it is. Apparently <laughs> so. Apparently so. Uh, this one uh, is a beautiful cocktail that I created just for this season. Okay. Really? And it's what a is little it bit of fresh lemon. It's called the Fall Breeze. The Fall Breeze. Yes. Mm. And we are in the fall. And at this time of year, you need a lot of citrus. Mm. Yeah? Because it's is healthy. That? Okay, yes. That's uh, true. You know, you fight the flu and so on. Have you seen his MacGyver drink knife? <laughs> Look, you have like, everything you need for a drink on it's there. It's got everything in there. <laughs> and then I'm going to use a little bit of Jewish Highlander honey. It's a honeyed whiskey from Scotland. Mm. Lots of little kind of honeyed oh. notes in there, because okay. you need some honey as well, which is really good for you okay. this time of year. Yes, this sounds like it can so fight a cold <laughs> and also get you nice for the it's holidays. <laughs> Perfect, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's great before dinner as well. Okay. And then a little bit of pomegranate now, how much and is cranberry. Uh, it's two ounces. Two ounces, okay. So a little bit of pomegranate and cranberry mm. right there. And then, of course, you've got to shake it and really wake up the cocktail. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is one of my favorite parts of making a cocktail. Mine too. You've got to wake it up. You've got to wake like it that. up. Sometimes it's asleep. You've got to mm, wake it yeah. up. Get those aromas flowing. <laughs> uh oh. Go, Lola. Go, Lola. Go, Lola. Go, Lola. Get your shake on. Get your shake on. That's it. Oh, good. Oh, Look oh. at you. <laughs> okay, I'll shake it properly. I know. Right? <laughs> He's like, now I'm going to show you how to do it. <laughs> And then more. Okay. She knows how to get ready to start it. Whoa, look at that. That's, oh, wow, that's, that's very aggressive, right. Colin. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, because it's... When the tin's frosted and you can write your name in it, it means the drink is ready. Oh, all this knowledge. Oh, yeah, see? You know everything. Just so you just strain just the last drops out. Okay. Don't waste anything. And I've got a glass ready here so with ice, and you just pour it over. Wow. Ooh, that's beautiful. That kind of exactly. Looks it's a very festive color. Mm. And of course, something that you may find in with your sides, cranberries. Cranberry. Just okay. throw some nice cranberries on top. Uh -huh. It's great in an antioxidants, so eat those mm. cranberries. And there it is. There it is. Oh, okay. There so we are, the full breeze. It's, it's pretty as well. Pomegranate, cranberry. I like that. Cheers. Dewar's Highlander okay. <laughs> honey, fresh lemon. Yeah. Now, little has Enjoy. Like this one tastes. Mmm. This is really good. Yeah. And it feels so healthy. Yeah, there's oh what I also do. What I also do with that, sometimes <laughs> I put a little bit of a little bit of ginger syrup mm, okay. on. Now for those relatives that we don't want to be drinking, what do you have for them? What do I have for them? Okay. You know, everybody, Uncle Zeke can't be drinking because you know right. something's gonna go down. So what I what I do for them is actually quite simple. I give them a little glass with honey in the center. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Just add a little bit of hot water just to dilute that honey. Okay. See, it is really easy to do at home. Nice. This looks good. And then <laughs> what we do, exactly, what we do is we'll throw some cloves in. Okay. Star anise. Star anise, ah, yes. Give it a little Very star. Mm. Actually, I love this instrument. Wow. wow. Okay. Watch out now. <laughs> <laughs> Extender spoon. Exactly. Give it a little star. And just the pierre de resistance what on is the this top. One called? 
is right here. I'm calling this the harvest punch. Harvest I'm pouring punch. a little bit of okay. apple juice in here just to top it off. Harvest punch. Yeah, you can do it with apple cider. I actually recommend apple cider. Is this is what the pilgrims drink. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they did. Here, you take and that that's one. Your awesome. then. There you go. Uh, what well, you can do is you can snap. Oh. What is that? Just a little, a little cinnamon, cinnamon stick, stick in there. Mm. Look at that. Some... And as this is for oh, you, it smells good. You can also spike it to taste. Oh, okay. A little well, Now honey. I just thought you were making honey water, but this is actually really good. It's really, really good. good. Whatever yeah. these chives and things that you put in there really give it a whole different flavor. Chives. chives. <laughs> cinnamon cloves. Sticks. Cinnamon cloves. cloves. Hey, Star I'm not a cook or a mixologist. So. But I've got something <laughs> else for you, which is really good for after dinner. You What's in my have cup? That Huh? Okay. No, we all have that problem after dinner, mm. after our um, Thanksgiving dinner, we all just want to go to sleep. Right. This is a little pick me up. The itis, they call that. They call it the itis oh, over the here? Itis, yeah. All right. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I can't. Sorry. With you. Just drink I your think drink. I got the spiked no, one. Yeah, you got, got the spiked <laughs> one? Uh oh. <laughs> what I'm pouring here is a little bit of cold coffee. It's maybe something that you can hold from. Um, okay. You can make it in advance. But Colin, really quickly, this drink is called the Gobble Gobble. Gobble Gobble. Gobble Gobble. Gobble okay. Gobble, because it's after you've had the Gobble Gobble, this really does help the Gobble Gobble go down. Okay. And a little bit of uh, Drambuie, which is a uh, Scotch liqueur, which has real lots of kind of citrus and honeyed heather notes. Mm. And it really works well with the coffee, and in, it just aids digestion, I find. Okay. And a little bit of ginger syrup. Mm. Yeah, just a touch. Ginger just syrup makes ginger everything syrup. good. Ginger syrup. There we go. Mm. Now, I know you're going to absolutely love this. Really? Unfortunately, Shannon, I don't think you're going to be able to try this. Oh, but this is delicious. I'm that, good. Yeah, you're good this with that? Good. Good. <laughs> I'm good. I like that. Okay, so just a little bit of ice. Okay. Gobble, gobble. Shannon, it's your turn. Okay, I got to. <laughs> Don't fight like that. That's that's quite an unusual shaker face. <laughs> it's like that workout gimmick, <laughs> the shaker. Okay, you finished. <laughs> Actually, you did quite well. It's oh, frozen. see, it's uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's frozen. All oh, right. <laughs> there we go. And then mm, get every little take bit. it out like that. Gobble, and gobble. you can try the gobble gobble cocktail for me. Oh, in a nice little martini glass. Nice little martini glass. Oh, Ooh. look at Ooh. that. I know. <laughs> a whole different look to it. I know. Yeah. And this nice. is a perfect after dinner this cocktail. This is a dessert Please. cocktail. Please, gobble, gobble. Yeah, it what almost you looks could like... do is you could just throw a little star anise for decoration. Oh, that's pretty. You said it looks like, like what? Turkey gravy. Yeah. Turkey gravy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sure this is after the dinner? It's Still after going dinner. down smooth. Ooh, it does not taste like turkey gravy. Oh, it really oh, doesn't, does it? It tastes great. This is quite the party. Now, is the key to spicing up your drinks all these little it's used all this is of really the nice seasonal. Touch. Yeah, you've got nutmegs, mm. you've got star anise, you've got cinnamon. You can also use allspice. Oh, okay. Yeah. This with a cookie after. It's perfect, oh, right? Great. Mm. That is <laughs> really, really good. The drambu and the coffee just really work well together. Mm. Helps your digestion. And then guess what? You can gobble, gobble some more. Gobble, gobble, gobble some more. That's gobble the best part. More. Now, is there anything to keep in mind with making these drinks, especially around family and keeping it going all night? Is there any one tip we should... Uh, yeah, drink in moderation. Yes. Please. That's very good drink advice. Drink responsibly, Drink people. responsibly yes. and drink in moderation. That's what I always recommend. All um, right. That's a good yeah. recommendation. Thank you very much, because <laughs> I would you. hate anyone to, you know, overconsume. Oh, it's not good for you. There you go. No. Well, happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I'm being a Brit. I mean, it's going to be quite interesting celebrating my third Thanksgiving here. Oh. All right. Yeah, it gets better and better. I enjoy oh, it. It does time. get better yeah. and better. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> thank Cheers you. to you, my friend. Yes. Come Cheers. Again soon. Thank you. I'll be right back again. Yes, right before Christmas. Yes. <laughs> All right. You're watching Arise Entertainment 360. <laughs>